What's up guys, it's Satchel here and I am back. So, I've played over a thousand games of Sky. I also managed to hit Immortal going Sky only. Literally only Sky. I dominated my lobbies, most of them, and I managed to hit Immortal going Sky only. After experiencing this, I think it's time for me to release the ultimate Sky Flash Guide. I have a lot of experience with Sky. I've literally, all I play is Sky since episode two, whenever she came out. I've only been playing Sky. I mean, I play a couple games of other agents here and there, but I have been a Sky main ever since. And I think I am the, one of the most qualified people right now to just show you and teach you guys how exactly to play Sky. Guy. So let's get right into the guide. What? I just got flashed the fuck out of again. Before I continue with the guide and show you these cool tips and tricks for the sky flashes, I really need you guys to be familiar with these flash techniques. These are really important, probably the most important thing that you need to understand if you really want to master sky and sky flashing, obviously. So the first thing that I want you to be aware of is basically it used to be that people can hear you flash within your audio zone. So your audio zone is that little circle that you see on the mini map. Obviously it's being covered by my face cam right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. If you would flash and any enemy would be in that circle, they would hear the flash coming. And obviously that would give them time to react, turn around and not be blind. Now in episode three, they changed it. The enemies have to be within 12 meters of you. So around here for them to be able to hear the flash coming. If there's an enemy standing around here and they're turned around and I just do this, they will not, obviously they, they won't hear that coming and they'll just be surprised by the flash. There's a lot of situations where this will make Sky way more powerful, but you usually don't flash with an enemy in open range. So the other feature of this is actually even stronger. If you're behind a wall, they can only hear the flash around eight meters. So they have to be really standing right here for them to hear the flash coming. Anything past this, they cannot hear the flash coming. And most of the time you're flashing behind a wall. Again, this is only if you're behind a wall or object. This makes Sky absolutely broken. This gives the enemies no time to react if they're obviously within that range. And again, this is really powerful and you should definitely use this to your advantage. So for the second mechanic, this really only applies to older Sky players. A lot of the older Sky players are familiar with just how long it took for the gun to equip after flashing. It used to take forever. And a lot of times would get me killed personally because by the time you peek, your gun's still not equipped. Your enemies are blind, but they have a, just a hint of vision and they'll kill you. And you won't even have your gun out. So kind of not the best situation there, but I like to say that they fixed it. With the new flash update, when you flash, your gun will equip much quicker, like much quicker. And like, this is actually insane. So. This made Sky so much better. That with the audio update, just be aware, especially if you're an older Sky player, you don't need to give time for your weapon to equip. You can swing right away. Get those kills, get those frags when your enemies are blind. Do not be afraid. As long as you hit those flashes, which you will with this guide, obviously. So the next mechanic that you need to also be familiar with, which I will go into more detail later in this guide, is wall riding. Obviously, Sky's flashes are able to ride on objects. I'll go more into detail how to properly use this, but just be aware that... It can get stuck if you look straight at objects or you can actually get them to turn corners quick. And this can be very useful in a lot of situations if you want to like pop flash past the corner. See how it doesn't affect me and you just kind of hold it there. And it swings very fast. Actually, in my opinion, it swings a little faster than regular than instead of just doing this. And I actually prefer that strategy. I want to flash around corners. But again, there's a whole section of that in the guide and you'll... Uh, Use that if you really want to master these. All right, so those are all the mechanics that you need to know. Now we are going to the real juicy stuff, the real tips and tricks. Let's go with the first one. Fast flashing. Fast flashing is probably the simplest form of flashing. It's the most common one. Most people will use this technique and also one of the most powerful in my opinion. Fast flashing is basically when you hug a corner that usually leads into obviously a site or something where enemies hold and you just hug here and you just flick left fast. You'll flick either left or right, obviously depending on what corner you're holding and the situation. For this example, obviously I'm flicking to the left fast and there's different angles at which you can play this if you know like this area is clear and someone's here and you want to blind them obviously you would you would go here you always want to be looking straight or angled a little bit so you could just so it turns quick it turns the corner quick because if obviously if you want to flash there and you're all the way here they have time to shoot it or react to it which you don't want you want to maximize the amount of time it takes for the flash to appear on their screen and obviously decrease the amount of time that it's going to take them to react if someone's here i mean you can push the angle you just have to find the right angle where, see, it still pops in front of my face, but it doesn't affect me. It's a bit harder to do. This is why I just prefer lining up straight with anything, depending on the corner. If I want to flash here, I go straight like this. 
That's basically fast flashing. I mean, you can do it anywhere, right? If you're playing on here and you're just holding this into B, you just flick fast. It works It works in almost any situation, probably one of the most useful flashes. And if you really want to improve these, just there's not a lot to it. Just make sure you flick. Fast flick is really the key. And then master the angles. Just know if no one's here, you know, you can, you can give yourself a little bit more space because the closer you are, the faster you can react to the blind enemy. So for the next technique that I want to show you guys, it's called wall ride flashing. I talked about this in the beginning of the video, but it's time to get into more detail about this flash. This flash is what separates Sky from other agents. So most people, you know, they'll guide their flash and they'll just turn it, boom, and then they think that's it. Using wall ride flashes, it makes this a hundred times easier. As long as you know the lineups and you just generally know what direction you want your flashes. One of the most useful examples that I use every time I play Ascent. Every time the round starts, I line up my crosshair just with this wall and I'll toss it and it turns the corner quick. In my opinion, I think the flashes turn quicker than regular because this is just, it turns so fast. Just from looking at it, I feel as if the flashes turn faster. Obviously I can't confirm this. You can't track the flashing. It's hard to compare, but I really believe that the flashes do turn corners faster like this. And so this is why I like using this technique. And so as you saw, my flash turned the corner really fast. I had my gun out. So that's the huge advantage to this tip is that my gun is out while my flash is out and I can still pop it as it turns the corner. As if, if you were guiding this, your gun is not out and you're actually vulnerable and can obviously get killed. So this is why wall, wall ride flashing is extremely overpowered because it just rides the wall. You can shoot, pop, and then you can just... There's a lot of variations you can do with this, but basically the flash rides the wall, it just, it basically goes towards your crosshair. So if your crosshair is here, it will ride the wall and then go towards the crosshair. So just be aware of how that mechanic works. Definitely practice in customs and learn some lineups. I know you don't have as many flashes anymore, so they are more important. But for example, I always use my flashes in the beginning of Ascent A round here for just info. If anyone's A, if I don't hit anyone, I usually actually end up pushing and get a couple free kills. So for the next flash tip, this is probably one of my favorite flash tips, the hardest to pull off, but the most rewarding. I call this one the flash bomb or the sky bomb. This trick, a little hard to pull off, as I said, but when you do do it, it is so rewarding. I will show a couple clips of it working and just enjoy it because it's actually awesome. So I hope you enjoyed that clip and let me explain how it works. Basically, if you hold E and throw your flash, it'll pop right away. If you do it without walking, you're obviously gonna be full blinded. You're popping a flash in your face, right? Not the smartest thing to do. But if you're walking or running and then you hold E and let go of your flash, you will not be blind at all. I mean, this is, this is like a 0.01 second blind, but anyone looking at you is full flash, they can't see, they, they basically see this. They, they see what you see here, but you just don't see anything. So a lot of situations, this can be useful. If you're getting chased, let's say you're running away from mid and someone's shooting at you, just pop it and run. I mean, they'll be full blind. You're basically a walking flash, pretty strong. But if you can pull this off in situations where you kind of just dive into mid and not the smartest thing, but this can work. If you can pull this off, I mean, you will love this trick. You can also peek corners like this. I like to do just, kind of fast speed corners, they, they won't expect you, like they'll expect you to be blind and anyone looking at you is obviously full blind. So there's a lot of ways you can bait enemies like this and trick enemies into looking at you and just kind of blind them. Again, very hard to pull off, but probably one of the most rewarding sky flash techniques. Now for this trick, the bread and butter of my channel, the sky fake flash. You guys all know what this is. I've made so many videos on this. I am probably the best fake flasher in the world at this point. Again, like the sky bomb, very, very rewarding. The fake flash, it's just one of the sexiest flashes when you pull off, when your enemy is just looking at the wall and you just look at them and laugh. It's, it's just such a good feeling. For those who don't know, Sky's flashes make you blind. What do people do when they see them coming? They turn around. How do you outplay this? Because obviously you want to kill them. I mean, the whole point is to kill them. So instead of popping your flash, you kind of just throw it. Everyone's scared of this right now. Anyone in this vicinity is just turned around looking at the wall like, oh my God, I don't want to get blind. It literally, not always, but a lot of the times, if you are flashing correctly throughout the game, not only fake flashing, just you know, spice in a little fake flash here and there, you'll get like free kills here. I mean, I've gone double kills, just not in this area. Do it all over the map, wherever you want, but just, you know, throw it in. Everyone's looking away, boom, boom, two kills. Everyone's gonna be frightened of the flash. So fake flash, you guys know what it is. You guys know how powerful that flash is. One of my favorite things to do in Valorant is sky fake flashing. So for the next tip, we obviously just talked about fake flashing. I'm gonna introduce another mechanic to fake flashing. It's called fake, fake flashing. Again, for a fake flash, it's just when you toss a flash and everyone looks away. What you wanna do is 
play around the people that think it's a fake flash and pop the flash. When you throw a flash, there's a timer before it expires. And so you, you just wanna wait at that timer just a bit before it runs out and then pop your flash. Let me just show you what I mean. So this would be a regular fake flash. Again, everyone would be turning around and you see that timer, right? So what you wanna do is throw it here, let everyone look around and then pop it right at the end. But the way to make this work is you have to make steps or you have to do something that will force the enemy to not look away or run away. You want them to think it's a fake flash. That's why it's called a fake, fake flash because you're faking them into thinking that it's a fake flash. Kind of complicated, but you know what I mean. So the whole point is just to throw a flash, you know, bait them out. Pretend you're, pretend you're, you're doing a fake flash. They'll look at you. Then you pop the flash full blind. You won't be blind at all, obviously, because the flash is behind you. You know, try to throw it behind you because if you do throw it ahead of you, you'll kind of be blind and you don't want that. Just another cool trick. Anyways, let's get to the next one. So for the next technique, I have the high flash. The high flash, not complicated at all. Probably the easiest trick in this guy. The whole goal of this is to get info at the same time blinding enemies that are hidden on sight. Let me show you what I mean. Basically, a high flash is just to get a, a, a flash obviously high, high in the air. But a lot of enemies like to hide behind boxes, right? And when you throw a flash high enough, and if they're looking like this, any any enemies just like this, looking, waiting for you to peek, will obviously get hit by a flash. So it's very effective at uh, spotting your enemies and blinding enemies that are hidden, but also blinding an entire site. A good way to use this is just as an entry flash. If you want to walk in a site, you kind of just throw a flash in the air and, you know, whoever's on site will get blinded if they're hiding behind something because they're going to be looking here and it's just gonna be in their field of vision and obviously they'll be affected by it. And you'll know where they are because they'll be hit by it. A very effective method. Also, make sure that you don't look at the flash when you throw it up because if you look a little bit too high, if it's in your field of vision, it's gonna blind you. And you definitely don't want that, so just look straight ahead. And it shouldn't affect you, but anyone here behind here looking up or waiting for you to peek, it's gonna be in their field of vision and they'll be completely blind. So for the final technique, probably one of the most amazing sky flash techniques ever. Anyone that is not new to this channel and have seen my videos before, you know this trick. You know how epic this trick is. It's called the sky bird ride. Let me show you how it's done. Basically, you just throw a flash and you ride it. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's the best technique in the game. You wanna fly across the map? Simple, you just take this and see, I mean, wow, amazing. I'm just kidding guys. Obviously that's not a real trick. Uh, just, that's just a little, little joke for the OGs that have seen the old video. So guys, to summarize all the tips and tricks in this video, I'm gonna go through them quickly. And this is for people who just don't wanna watch the full guide and get those extra little juicy bits that will help you make your flashes a little stronger. But if you wanna just in a quick digestible way, here we go. We have a fast flash, basically hug the corner. You kind of want to be straight with the corner or a little angled and just flick, flick to the direction that you want to flick the flash. Obviously just flick it, your gun's out, couple free kills here and there. One of the best flashes in the game. The next one is the wall ride flash. Obviously turns the corner faster in my opinion. Again, I cannot confirm if this is true, but in my opinion, it's way, way faster turning the corner. You just throw it at a wall. It goes towards your crosshair and pop it. And again, the huge advantage is your gun is out. So you shoot and pop. The next is the sky bomb. You hold W and E and you just boop. Not blind at all once you pop your flash. Anyone looking at you is blind. Very useful if you're running away from an enemy, you're being chased and you just turn the corner, boom. And you can, I mean, maybe if you're lucky, turn around and kill them. Next, we have the fake, fake flash. You're basically faking them into thinking that it's a fake flash. Kind of confusing, but you know. So you just throw a flash. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, it's a flash. You pop it. I mean, it's a fake flash. So the whole point is just to them thinking it's a fake flash, shoot. So they think it's a fake flash and they look back instead of turning around. One of the harder tricks, but not too complicated once you get used to it. And you just pop it when they turn around, simple. Next, we have the high flash. Again, if you just wanna clear a site and get some info quickly and blind anyone hiding behind objects, pop in the air, pretty effective because a lot of the people hiding behind objects are gonna be looking higher and just be more exposed to this field of vision and it will usually hit them. And that's pretty much everything, guys. So I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. These tricks have made me one of the best Sky players. I hate Immortal going Sky only, a thousand games of Sky. I've really been loving Sky and these tricks are really what helped me hit Immortal going Sky only and really helped me enjoy Sky for her mechanics and what she can do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the guide. I really, really do. I'm gonna be back uploading fake flash videos. I'm gonna show you more sky tricks, go into more details on specific maps, upload more sky videos, some funny videos, some challenges, and I'm gonna be back on the YouTube grind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching and thanks so much. Bye.